late breaking today. Mismanagement and a lack of transparency costing millions of taxpayer dollars. That is according to our state's auditor this afternoon. Yeah, right now we're joined by KOCO's Abigail Ogle in studio. And Abby, the state's attorney general is calling on a resignation this evening. Guys, that's right. This afternoon, State Auditor Cindy Byrd announced millions of dollars in questionable costs, mostly dealing with pandemic relief money. She also called into question the procedure set up by OMES. That's the state's Office of Management and Enterprise Services. They are supposed to evaluate private vendors that the state uses, but the audit calls two specific vendors into question. Tonight, AG Gettner Drummond is calling for Secretary Shelley Zumwalt's resignation. She was the leader of the unemployment office, which had a contract with a software company. That company's vice president is her husband. Drummond says she approved millions of dollars and that was a conflict of interest. Quote, this level of self-dealing represents an unforgivable breach of trust that disqualifies Ms. Zumwalt from overseeing the expenditures of our tax dollars. We spoke to the state auditor today about her findings. This was allowed because OMES failed to monitor the nonprofit as they were required to do by federal law to ensure the nonprofit was spending the money in accordance with the grant guidelines. OMES had the responsibility to ensure that the emergency rental assistance funds were spent in accordance with grant guidelines. We have reached out to Zumwalt's office for comment after the AG is calling for her to resign. We have not yet heard back, but again, this is brand new information. As this story develops, make sure you join us tomorrow morning. Cindy Bird, the state auditor who just released this report, will be live on our 9 a.m. newscast.